Okay, now we start to uh, introduction about the what is the biomic. Biomic is the bio and the mimic uh, to com combine, uh, be the one word is a new word is a brand name is a is a mean biomic. That that the mean is the bio and the mimic. So they wanted to uh, copy and the mimic and the simulation the neutral teeth. So this is a very nice material and a nice and target for uh, ID8 and for every technician. And what is the biomic the property and advantage? And biomic is the all in one. Is the set is the is the all in one set for every uh, different material you can to use it to stand in the outside and this is a very very nice the external stand set for you. And we can to use it on the uh, metal ceramic and uh, glass ceramic or ceramic layering or monolithic or draconian ceramic. So this is uh, very convenient and uh, easy. And uh, is the high color stability and the position. Why? Because the, you can to back so many times and the color is very stable. And the lead is also can uh, to micro shaping, you can to adjust uh, your contour and the shape because this is a liquefied ceramic, and uh, they also it also have a very nice the uh, 3D glaze and have a high floral rules and, and the light dynamic and maybe like the neutral teeth and the like the porcelain layering, and uh, they also have the larger and the stable porcelain powder inside, and uh, that is very good the wear resistant. So this is a nice material and I will show you the more detail. And what is the all in one? We can to uh, back to the 718 to 810 to uh, external stain on the metal ceramic. And uh, we also can to stain the uh, low temperature, maybe on the low, uh, we can do stain the low temperature on the uh, glass ceramic, like the EMS or the monolithic or the Kome or the DC press. Every DC in this case is no problem. And it's a very very low temperature, and the 710 to the 730, and uh, especially is a very important material is the Reconia restoration. We can to use it to stain on the Reconia ceramic, uh, include the uh, layer in crown and uh, over the monolithic crown, and uh, even is a high temperature, maybe like the Creation CT, and uh, you also can to use the. A biomic to stain on the outside and is use the low temperature and don't worry about the after vacuum we get the bubble and if you use it maybe I think you don't need the other maybe the meal shofu seltra ivory color or the other other external stain paste you don't use it you don't need it why because the biomic is the all in one and is the very high color stable a step by the ability and the procession and the before the back and the we can to the one type back and the second back and the third type back we can to see the color is a very stable and we can to uh, uh back it the uh, again 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 maybe the four times and the five times you don't worry about your color will fusing and will move and everything is very precise so it's a very stable material and still get the light dynamic is like the neutral and it's a very beautiful material and I so I also say this again to uh, shaping because the this is a li uh, liquefy uh, ceramic uh, like the other brand and you can use it to uh, adjust your contour or increase your content area your by the area and we can to see this material is interesting. We can use the spatial uh, liquid two, uh, liquid number two, and uh, to miss it, we can make the, our material is very sticky and like a uh, porcelain powder. 
So you can easily control it and make it to uh, uh, use it to create the, your, your morphology. So this is very interesting. So apply on the, your uh, monolithic recording or apply on your ceramic restoration like this. It's very, very like the porcelain powder. And the good news if you uh, use the liquid too and you don't uh, use the, uh, you, you also don't do the vacuum and you don't worry lose the your translucent and you don't worry get the bubble because the, the liquid too is a very special liquid is very sticky and uh, uh, is the, um, uh, we have a liquid uh, liquid glass inside a very special uh, liquid and you can to use the liquid number two make every powder become the uh, paste so this is a very special and nice and uh, if possible after the try you will know i say what and uh, we know uh, how to use it like this if you uh, lost your age lens and you want to edit it and uh, you can use the 3d or 3d to miss the 3d 2d and apply on your age area and after the back you can to extend your lens and also you can to uh, 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 apply on the contact area and if you lose the contact or you lost the occlusion bite you also can to apply it on the occlusion area you don't need to uh, 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 layer in the porcelain because the, this is very fast so you can to apply it and with the stand in the one time to back so it's very convenient and the biomic also have a very nice the glass material. They have a three different glass. It's one is a two D is own is a, uh, is a two D is a glass F is a mean for a reason because the glass F have, have a very high for reason and uh, you apply it you can get the high for reason effect and your crown put in the mouth, especially in the anterior crown, you don't worry that it will uh, become more dark or lose the light. Yeah, because the, the, we have the fluorescent effect. So this is a very interesting and uh, nice effect about the glass fruit. And they also have the 3D V or 3D N. I say this have a more big size the porcelain powder in the 3D, uh, 3D material and we can use it to uh, layer in and adjust the contour and we also can use it to uh, glaze and you can get the surface more like the porcelain layer so it's the neutral and the nice and we can to see this your surface this is a monolithic reconia but the surface use the 3d we can to see the surface like the layer in, like a porcelain layer in. but we save the type because we just apply very very thin layer on the top and the after the back we can to get light dynamic is like the neutral and the, like the porcelain layer so i say this is a very nice glass material and the another and the last advantage is the biomink have the large porcelain powder particle inside and what does it mean because we have a porcelain powder not only stain because the some stain powder is the metal outside but it's just only stain and to mix the glass powder so this is the material is where resistance is very very terrible but biomic the mix the large porcelain powder inside so we get the good uh, light dynamic and uh, good the color and the uh, good the uh, uh, surface uh, 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 refreshing like the porcelain and also get the porcelain good wear resistant so we put it you don't worry you will stay maybe after six months or one year we are lost or wear it let it keep a lot maybe over the five years or ten years we don't worry that because it's the liquefied ceramic so this is a very nice and apply on the surface you get the layer effect and biomic the component in the one package one say is the 90 color and we just at least 90 color can for all restoration and all indication why because we have a 2d effect and the 2d have the 16 colors and the glass paste and we also have a 3d uh, effect 
is the two spatial layer past and uh, we use the, these two myths again and uh, we can get everything maybe like this the example we use the 2D to apply and the staining on the molecular deconia and uh, we get the nice result but uh, if you want to get more beta wear resistant or more like the positive layer crown we can apply the 3D effect on the surface and we can to create the micro texture and the spatial color identity on the surface and the upper back our monolithic recording is look like the porcelain crown like a laying crown so it's a very very interesting and a very very nice material and in the uh, biomix bio mix state we have the color is the uh, I wanted to explain how to use and the, the develop comp set. See, this is interesting. We can do see we have our orange one, yellow, orange two, and the terracotta. And uh, uh, translucent area, we have the purple, blue one, blue two, and the black color. And the color identity, we have the white, brown, and the white C, and the pink R. And uh, we have a major major shirt and the shirt A, shirt B, shirt C and the shirt D and the, I say that we have the three colors the material is the F, 3DN and the 3DV and it's interesting and amazing we can mix the every color, every part anywhere if you want because 3D is the more uh, stickiness and uh, more bigger uh, uh, particle size and the more like the porcelain and the 2D is like more like the liquefied ceramic it's more more fine particle size but it's also the porcelain and the 2D is the old color and the 3D is more like the translucent and the 3DV is a more high value so if you lost your value you can apply the 3DV uh, 3D value on the outside on the top you can to increase the your value and we can to miss the 3D or 2D or you can to miss the 2D and the 2D effect you can to customize any customized color for you want to use you also can to use to miss the other brand low fusion low temperature uh, stamp powder and uh, you can create another new color but in my experience and my daily work and uh, this is the system color is enough it's enough for me to use I said that it can to fit my uh, daily work maybe 90% or 95% I don't need to use the other powder this is the 60 powder can to finish my old work 